On YouTube, Natalia asked, what is the number two food to try in New Zealand? Number one, obviously, is fish and chips. So what is number two? All right, uh, some food. Yeah. Now it's going to be another one. If you remember last week, uh, we started talking a little bit about the Lord of the Rings and Laura started nerding out for quite a while. Mm. She's probably going to be doing the same thing about food. No, I'll, I'll but... turn it down. I'll turn it down. <laughs> All right. So the first thing we're going to come up with is the hangi. Uh, it's the Maori traditional meal that you've got to try. Uh, yeah, someone already said it on the live chat. Um, so what is the hangi? So basically you take a bunch of meat. You take some um, root vegetables. Yeah, you take some root <laughs> vegetables like kumara, which is sweet potatoes. Um, actually, put carrots. They put yeah. um, they put potatoes, and you put all of that into kind of a crate. You dig a hole in the ground. You put some. Uh, what's, they what's put this? like um, sacks, like potato yeah, yeah. sacks. Yeah, they and put stuff potato around sacks it. around it and everything. And they put some coal. They put some you know a lot of heat. Hot rocks. Hot yeah. rocks and all of that. And then you put some dirt all over it. Obviously, it's all over the sack, not all over the food. Um, oh, that's when you have a really, really crappy hangy cook. Uh, but yeah, so you you kind of put all of that on the ground and you let it cook for actually quite a long time. It's some, like all day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sometimes it takes the whole day, and you know, like the meat and the vegetables and everything is all kind of like go like goes kind of smoke. They obviously put a lot of herb with that, um, and uh, and yeah, it's really really awesome. Um, and, uh, and and it fits everybody because um, every time you get a hangi, they always kind of make another, they make another batch of vegetables on the side. So you get like the one with meat and you get the one with vegetables and everything. So if you have someone which is vegetarian or which has a lot of dietary requirements, kind of everything is cooked separate. So if you're vegetarian, well, you go just for the vegetables and they're really awesome. And if you eat everything, when well, you have a little bit of meat and a little bit of vegetables, everything is really awesome. So that's a traditional Maori meal. Um, it's, it, I would say it's the one meal that you kind of have to have when you come to New Zealand, even above fish and chips. Yes, I would say it. Yep. You have to have a hangi even before you have a fish and chips um, because, well, because it's the traditional Maori meal and it yep. tastes really good. It's really awesome. Mm. So that would be the... the, the the first thing that we'll have as a New Zealand food. Yeah. And um, what do you have next? Um, another thing you could try is pavlova, which is a, a dessert made of meringue, of fresh cream and fresh fruit. It's really nice and sweet and refreshing. And New Zealanders really like to have it around Christmas time because, as you probably know, Christmas time is during summer in New Zealand. So having a nice, light, refreshing dessert is the way to go here. Um, but saying that, finding a pavlova for dessert Ooh, in like hard. restaurants and stuff is actually quite difficult. And that's because obviously meringue is a little bit of a art to make. Um, so if you do come across a menu and pavlova is on the menu, then make sure you go for it because it's, uh, yeah, it's quite hard to find sometimes. I'm just wondering um, though, yeah. it's, it's, it's always a hit and miss though in restaurants. Because I remember we were in, in Topo oh, yeah. and we had a very terrible pavlova, <laughs> very expensive in a fancy restaurant that wasn't that great uh, yeah. but, we but we've were... had some great pavlovas in uh Tuatapere, which probably not many people are going to go to but this town is on the edge of the fjordland national park right in the bottom of the southland region so if you ever go there there is an old lady in her little yesteryears cafe yeah. and museum and she's making the most mean as pavlova so yeah, yeah. That you will be, you will be able to find it in some places, but again, sometimes it's great, sometimes it's not so great. Yeah. Um, oh, we also had a really good one in Morley Farms, actually. Yeah, Morley um, Farms. So which... we have two videos about us eating pavlova. If you want us, uh, yeah. if you want us to uh, munch on uh, on pavlovas and watch us do that, well, you know, definitely check out those videos. Um, all right. Now a couple of other things which are really kind of like very entrenched into the New Zealand culture or Kiwiana, as uh, you know, we call it here in New Zealand. So you get hockey pokey. It's not really a food. It's a it's a flavor. Yeah. It's something that you have in chocolate, or it's something that you have in ice cream. Um, it's um, it's basically uh, you take honey, uh, your honey slash caramel, and you make it harden, and then you just smash it with a hammer, and that gives you like you know 
smashed of uh, honey or chocolate and you put that in, uh, in vanilla ice cream so then you find hockey pokey ice cream so if you're traveling around New Zealand in summer and you're about to get yourself an ice cream maybe grab a hockey pokey flavor because that's typical New Zealand mm -hmm. and you can also get some awesome chocolate like uh, um, milk, uh, uh, milk chocolate, hockey, hockey pokey milk chocolate yeah. from like Whitakers, for example, which is oh so good at mouth watering. <laughs> so that's really, really awesome. So that, that's that's another one of them. Um, yeah, there's a few. The um, there's a few seafood dishes that are that New Zealand's quite famous for. Uh, for instance, there's the Bluff oysters, and Bluff is a little is a town right at the bottom of the South Island, and in that bit of water between the South Island and Stewart Island. This is where a lot of bluff oyster farms and stuff are happening. And it's like one of, I think there's only there and in Chile is where you can get these types of oysters. Okay. So if you are very specific in trying very sort of rare types of oysters, then bluff oysters is the way to go. And you can have that in many places around New Zealand. Also, power Cray, fritters. oh, power. Yeah. Power fritters is like some really big, uh, like it's, it's, it's yeah, big yeah. shellfish which are really shiny inside, and it's the thing that usually when you see souvenirs from New Zealand, which have this this shiny pattern, you know, like you have a beautiful tiki carving, uh, which is a little uh, icon carving with you know some shiny eyes. Well, usually the sh shiny eyes are made out of power shell, um, and they usually do fritters because you know everything is um, is really um, you know better. Um, better fried <laughs> let's be honest actually someone in the comment right now is telling us it's abalone so i didn't know that but it's abalone so i knew abalone from france actually oh, yeah so it's it's abalone so it's probably from the same family um so that's really famous and then crayfish which is crayfish, the new zealand yeah. lobster yeah so that is um most famous place to go and have crayfish is in kaikoura um, but that's not the cheapest food to try. I think for a full crayfish, that would be about $80, but you can buy them in halves as well to save you a bit of money. But that's that's one that is super delicious to try. And then finally, I would say green-lipped mussels from Marlborough. That is, um, there's a town called Havelock, which is the green-lipped mussel capital of the world. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's another place where you can try some super fresh and tasty seafood. All right, now a couple of extra things for the foodies. So obviously the wine in New Zealand is huge. I mean, we have a huge wine culture. We have a huge wine production. You've seen us in those videos below. Seriously, check out our channel. We've done so many winery tours. We probably, even just the last year, we've visited, you know, through our tours and everything, I would say at least 30 different wineries. Um, and so there's really heaps of wine. The wine culture is really big here. We also have a lot of craft beers, so that goes along well with uh, a lot of food. So, you know, while you travel around, don't order, order Heineken, pick something different, uh, yeah. pick a New Zealand brand and taste something different, same thing for your wine. And, uh, you know, as a little treat for the kids, something that you know the kids are going to enjoy, they're really big into chocolate fish in New Zealand. So it's basically a marshmallow fish, uh, like coated with chocolate, which is, uh, which is quite cool. Um, and something to avoid, to avoid at all costs, do not eat that in New Zealand. Please don't do that to yourself. It's called Marmite. They eat that for breakfast. They just spread it on toast and it's literally just molasses of awfulness, <laughs> yeast and stuff. It tastes absolutely <laughs> awful. Please guys, stay away from Marmite. Or just bring it as a souvenir to that friend or that family member that you Here really you hate. <laughs> Like literally get, get that pot of Marmite. Oh, damn. Just absolutely make sure to avoid that. Yeah. And uh, lastly, for food on the go, uh, Kiwis are really, it's not really a Kiwi thing at all, but Kiwis are really into their pies. There are pies everywhere. Yeah, um, savory pies, yeah, that is. Savory um, pies, yeah. yeah. So they're really into like uh, cheese and mince pies, uh, steak pies, all those kind of things. There are pies everywhere. Um, it's not a, a real big culinary experience, let's be honest. <laughs> Um, but it is, you know, it is a very Kiwi thing to do. Road trip and pie. I mean, you know, like any Kiwi you're going to meet, they're going to say, oh, I used back in the days, you know, my dad and family would go on a road trip and they always stop at the gas station and grab one of those pies. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. I, but, you know, the food in general in New Zealand is, is, is rather good. It's not as long as you stay away from Marmite. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, there's a lot of people coming up on the live chat now saying, Marmite's great. <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah. Awesome. Oh no, there's someone MB1968. Someone's NZ. on our side. Yes, he's on our side. Yeah. Good on you, man. <laughs> Seriously, just people stay away from my mic. It's awful, awful, yeah. awful. You either love it or you hate it. That's <laughs> what they say. I personally hate it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. So I think that answers your question, Natalia. We went through a lot of our favorites, absolutely just New Zealand food, and I hope you like it.